Wait, dude, are you, are you recording it? Uh, no, no, we, we had to wait for a second. My roommate to go back into back into a room. Why? Uh, well, well, if she was outside, she would she she would hear what I'm saying, and then I sound like an idiot because I'm just talking to myself. Well, you could be talking on the cell phone, right? Uh, uh, uh I, I guess so. All, all right, we'll, we'll we'll just get started then. Who who cares what she thinks, right? All right. Yeah. Um, well, and you are crazy too. So. <laughs> That's true. All right, how's it going, guys? Um, welcome to a, a special mini series in, in Let's Play Tophavania 2, the Omake. There are four of these. We're gonna do them all. Oh my Yay. god. Um, right here, I'm I'm gonna say, I'm I'm assuming that 90% of the people watching this series are not gonna be interested in this. This is only for the most hardcore fans and people that really like fan fiction and barely translatable Japanese humor. So if, if this is not your cup of tea, uh, just wait a few episodes. We'll do the, the Phantasm stage in like a week, and it will be amazing. But in the meantime, we, we have some a, a special journey into the heart of fan fiction, and it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's, it's going to ruin your image of all your favorite characters, so let's, let's, let's get going. Oh man, it's, it's going to be a thing. With episode one, let's do this. Yay, I'm curious to how they translate some of this stuff. Yeah, the translation, I, I don't even know where to begin. Alright, well, well, we got Romilia. Romilia? And Sakuya. And Sakuya. Looks like it's gonna be the... the... the, the Comic-Con crew. Sakuya. Looks like it. And of course, she's bored. So what's, what's Romilia's deal, anyway? Well, she's, she's a vampire who can control fate, and that's really all there is. There's not too much, like, fan made-up stuff about her that, I, that I'm aware of. Hmm. A lot of people seem to prefer her younger sister as, as their character favorites from the game. Um, which was, who was? It was Flandre. Flandre. Flandre, okay. I gotta keep track of all these names, it's ridiculous. Yeah, there are a lot of characters. Oh, patchouli. Oh. <laughs> I love the way that she so says cute. Remy. Yeah, patchouli is great. Everyone's gathered. Oh. So is Marilia always getting people to do something crazy and, and for just something idiotic? Like I, I wouldn't say she always is, but I'd say it's in her personality, definitely. Okay. She's a, that person that would just say, I'm really bored, entertain me. She is the, she is the uh, Ojo-sama, after all. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty busy fixing things up. Or tearing things down from my, from my, what I gather. That's true, that's true. Oh, what's this? Cold noodles, somen, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, somen is so tasty, especially on like a hot summer day. Oh yeah, it's like angel hair pasta, except very th thinner and and a lot lighter, softer texture. Very good. Though I uh, personally, I, I enjoy my somen, but that, that's that's my personal. Preference. That's called yumen, though. Is it yumen then? Mhm. Mm it's not somen anymore. It's called yumen. Huh. Well, I I just learned that today then. All right. And you usually can't buy it in a restaurant either. They always serve it so cold. No, in the well, in the so many places that I would frequent when I when I stay in Japan is that they generally offer it two ways. You can either have it warm, or you can have it cold. Oh, really? And when it's cold, they serve it on a large plate, and you can dip it in the in the sauce dip in the or whatever. Sauce. Yeah. And then when it's warm, it's actually in a broth, like a ramen or something. Mhm. Mm well, I guess I didn't eat too much somen when I was back in Japan because I probably had that at my house so much. That's true, that's true. Yeah, I it's frequented like it like all the time. If, if my breakfast wasn't going out to the, the convenience store to get some onigiri, it was going to the, it was going to the, the, the cheap somen market, like, right next to our house and having a quick, like, combination of some cold somen and some curry or something. Hmm. That was delicious. Speaking of Anyway, um, 
getting onto this. They're they're doing a, a short skit. Um, short conto is what I think. Short, short conto. Yeah. Short conto. Which is really common in in Japan. It's just like a short thirty second skit. You do it a lot in like classrooms and things. Well, yeah, well, no, classrooms maybe. Like in well, this is from actually speaking to someone who used to be in Jet. That they would do English skits a lot and oh, no be in this kind of style. That's difficult to do. Well, that should be interesting. There's uh, usually two parts to a uh, manzai group, the boke and, and uh, was it? Well, boke manzai, boke? manzai is different from the the short part skits. Is it? Yeah. Whereas this would be like an actual like they're acting out a short scene, whereas manzai is more just like a stand-up routine. Hmm. Which is again why you see it a lot in like um, Japanese English classes where they they have like a quit scene where they say like okay like today we're learning about the what to say when you're in an airport so then they create a scene in, in the airport. Okay, so what's what's the punchline? Yeah, there's there's not one. There is no ochi. Sounds like saying that there was no point to it. <laughs> but we forgive you, Patchy. We forgive you. <laughs> I guess they had too much soulmen or something. Oh, well, it's true. I, I I don't think I I could think of any place where where to put that in there. No. Uh oh, what's Mailing gonna come up with? This this was actually really funny. I I really like this. How did it go again? Oh, let's see right. what they do a. Well, here let, let's, let's let's get to it. Yeah, they do a the fountain of noodles, which is a really oh. it's it's a popular Japanese folk tale, isn't it? <laughs> Malian's acting is amazing. Yeah. And her voice was like really loud right there, but. Yeah, this right here. This is a famous Japanese folk tale, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yep. What was the original story? It, it definitely oh, wasn't so many. It's his axe. Then, yeah, the, uh, the fairy comes out and is like, Oh, did you drop this golden axe or the silver axe? And the, uh, the guy says, No, I, it was neither of those. And he was rewarded with both axes for being so truthful. Gotcha. Opposed to a special red axe. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love Mei Ling's overacting. It, it, it makes the scene. I agree. Mm. You ever had that kind of soul map? Where it has like different colored ones in there? I haven't, no. Yeah, so that's what they're referring uh -oh. to. It's like the special She shows up list. out of the blue all the time. I don't think anyone's invited her to anything ever. Really? Is it because she's always stealing shit? Possibly. She's just that kind of character. She either gets dragged into things or she drags herself into things. I think it's more case of the latter. Okay, but what happened? Do you do you remember seeing the fourth omakas, the oma, um, omake? No, I have I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, okay. That's alright. We can talk about that one when we get there. Cool. I was about to say omakase. Omakase is a little bit different than omake. All right. Yeah. Here we, we were talking about um, Manza earlier in that video that Rapka was in. Oh, this is yeah. This is this, this is, is a very bad example of that. <laughs> they really they didn't think of a title. <laughs> it would normally be something like um, Sparkle Books or something like that. Yeah, and then one would say something stupid, the bokeh. So Patchouli would be playing the straight man, and Merce would almost be like the. Uh, well, she, yeah, she would be the, the crazy one. Mm -hmm. But they're both playing the straight act, so it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. There is a group in Japan that does both uh, bokeh as the stupid act, which is just unbelievably funny. I almost I almost think that I'd prefer an act of two straight men. 
Really? Yeah, it would be it'd be funny in, uh, in an ironic way, I guess. Or in an awkward way, like what's going on right now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one person could have just actually book it and like hit the other person or whatever, but didn't work out there, I guess. Oh wow. Uh oh. What's this? She's just gonna blow something up, right? Yeah, I know. There's, there's no way she she would do anything else. Yeah. Uh, I just love that crazy look in her eyes. It's the same bokeh from the Montai, right? Yeah. Barabara. That's is that is throw really the best way to translate that? I'm not gonna throw them. Isn't more no, like she's, she's like trying like, to like blow I'm them gonna, apart? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, take it apart or yeah, crush it and make it fly. Yes, yeah, <laughs> uh, the omake is hard to translate. Yeah. So, in other words, she was trying to make it into a damaku, right? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Mei Ling. She just gets beat up on by hmm. everyone. I don't think you can get killed by Soman, but that's kind of cool. It's, it's it's probably a different story, though, if, if Flamjo's throwing it. <laughs> I can just imagine those small strings of... But she was saying it's not really okay, right? I, I didn't hear what she said. I'm sorry? Never mind. I was gonna talk about the translation, but I forgot oh, what she said. Oh, the monoboke? Yeah. Monoboke is actually when they use a, um, a conch, when, it's a, when they use an object for the subject, so... She was gonna do something with the soul man, but she's just basically turning into Damaku. Gotcha. Yeah, Saki hasn't had a turn yet, I wonder what she'll do. I can't really see her doing anything as interesting as everyone else has done so far. She's probably gonna cook it or something. Oh, there you go. She's gonna make some soman. What's <laughs> Special red noodles. Hey, they should have translated you, you, you natto. Na you, you use natto and soma? Um, that could be good, yeah. I would put it in the broth. Oh, hey. Yeah. Natto, like, natto is a really, really bitter fermented soybean if people don't know what it is. I think it's delicious, but if you're not accustomed to it, you're mm -hmm. probably not gonna like it. Yeah, it's kind of stringy, like um, okra. If you guys had boiled it, okra, yeah, okra before. is probably a good. Um, it has kind of slimy taste texture to it, but it's a little bit more viscous. Uh oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read too much into that line. Hmm? Or or that one. Okay, <laughs> that's a great face. Shit. So is that. This is this is why I love this guys. It's hilarious. So is there something going on between Sakuya and uh It, it wouldn't Nelson? be a proper fan fiction if people didn't pair it up in some sort of Yuri relationship. Sakuya! <laughs> 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 Well, of course she is, after what she was oh, insinuating. Wow. They are, Marissa. <laughs> and there's the maid of show again. Mm-hmm. Finn. Holy crap! That was Holy over crap. 15 minutes long. Yeah, when we try to keep it moving along too, so. Yeah, and that oh, was wow. that was at a decently brisk pace. Oh my god, there are three more of those to get through. Yeah. Holy cow! All right, guys. Well, that that's the first of the omake. 
I totally don't blame you if you're gonna skip the next three, but I'm gonna I'm gonna watch them and we're gonna make them, and I'll be damned if if I don't release them. So uh, <laughs> expect some more in the future. They they get pretty funny as we go on. The fourth one, I I hear I hear good things about the fourth one, but I haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll leave that one blind, so I can you can get my my true reaction to it. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll I'll see you later. Later, guys.